What up, Long Beach? Welcome back to GazetteSports.com and the Press Telegram. It's Mike and JJ. This football video brought to you by Naples Rib Company, the perfect place to cater your team's next event. Speaking of teams and speaking of events, JJ, this Wilson Bruins team is the toast of the town after a 4-2 and two start to the season, looking like maybe the second best team in the Morley. I came from a game that had the lights turned off three times. Let's not gild the lily at all and get right down to the action. <laughs> I think so. Karan Nelson was Mr. Action in this game as he starts off a nice night with this excellent punt return, putting Wilson in good field position, and then Josh Blyce. Oh, what a time to be a five. <laughs> Number five, and uh, Karan Nelson also, obviously, some big-time playmakers for this Wilson Bruins team, and they were excited to come out and try and prove something against the Lakewood team they hadn't beaten in 16 years. Nelson <laughs> hits the seam and leaves the Lancer defense behind him. He gone for the first score. First score, very important in this game, as you will see soon. Well, because no one really could hold the lead, JJ. Some great drives by both teams as Nelson does put Wilson up 6-0. to zero. But, of course, as we mentioned, Lakewood is going to come right back at it. And it's J.D. Rafkin. He's got a new toy out there named Spencer Owen. And, yeah. Is that Owen Daniels? <laughs> that, that, that kid looks like the size of Owen Daniels. He is huge, and he was a big target for uh, Rafkin. But he's going to hit Josh Cummings on this one. Not quite as big a target, but certainly a good one because he makes a couple guys miss, and he gone. 60 yards to the tilt, JJ. Wow, nice run from Josh at breaking those tackles like they ain't no thing. And the extra point's going to put him up 1-7-6. Obviously, a lot of different playmakers looking to step up in a game where some of the top playmakers weren't on the field. Uh, for Wilson, Josh Wise is the quarterback. The, he does it all, Mike. The running, he certainly does. The running the halfback pass to Les Hampton Jr., who draws the flag. And that's going to put Wilson right on the doorstep again. Yeah, Kulos and Nelson, stop us if this looks familiar. 21 into the end zone. Wilson now up 12-7 late in the second. And you can really feel the excitement for the Wilson fans of, oh, hey, we've got this lead at halftime. However, we go to the second half. Lancer's on the warpath, JJ. Ooh, I Owen, didn't say it. Owen with the grab, and then Cummings, a run around the end to get him close. This was good old-fashioned high school football. Both these teams ran the ball in lots of different ways. And it's Cummings. Well, that's maybe kind of new school, but he jumps right over the top and breaks the plane for the touchdown to put Lakewood back on top after they get the two-point conversion from Owen. Yeah, we have got a ball game here in the fourth quarter. It's a three-point game, 15-12. Kulos gets the ball back. However, he's going to try to throw it downfield. He's going to get picked off by John Castro. The defense holds for Lakewood, and they're going to start on the Wilson 18 after this great return. Well, now it was up to the Wilson defense who was able to hold. They keep Lakewood, move them back, even keep them from getting a field goal attempt. So it comes back to the Wilson offense. Can Kulos and Wise lead a touchdown drive for a program-defining win? Certainly started off well. Kulos hits Bobby Bruin. That's Bobby Simon. Not wearing Luke Zell's helmet, perhaps, JJ. It's good to share with you. As he goes down the far sideline, then they're going to give it to, obviously, their workhorse, Josh Wise. He had 22 carries for 133 yards, 160 total yards in this game. The receiver, DeJour. Kulos going to find DeJour Smith out here in the flat. Kulos was 4 for 4 on this drive. And yes, it is a wise decision to give it to your man for the game winning touchdown. So turned up, he can't even stay on his two feet. You can see a little bit of excitement from Wilson. They were kind of doing a similar dance in the stands, JJ, because a lot of these people have never seen Wilson beat Lakewood. It was 1999. A lot of these players were just toddlers still at that point. Cole Erskine on the sack. The Bruins defense did need to come up with one more stop. Fourth down. you got to get the stop here. You see him in the frame there. High five, y'all. Wise is going to break up the pass for the game ceiling stop. He just does everything for this Wilson Bruins team. Amazing night from him. Yeah, Brew wins. They are in victory formation, and they're going to party like it's 1999. That is their first win over the Lancers since 1999, as we mentioned. And Coach Ziggins is away. Hey, a win is a win. Really, obviously, a big night for Wilson. You can see the excitement from everyone around this. Really, I think, a program-defining win, JJ. Bruins in the driver's seat for second place in the Moore League. Again, Bruins football in the driver's seat for second place in the Moore League. That is a big story coming out of Long Beach. We have got to thank our sponsors, Long Beach Transit, who now has stops on Route 1 at CSU Dominguez Hills South Bay Pavilion and the Stub Hub Center. Plenty of more league football still coming up this season. you got to find out how these Bruins finish the year out. They're 5-2 and two and fired up. 
for all of that news, you got to keep it right here.